look at me in this photo. Are you serious? Jeez, I used to be a I used to be a, a, a chubby boy. That was a long time ago, and since then I lost weight. Oh uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I'm still okay. Okay, well, fine, fine. But man, we're doing it again. Reacting to True Story Scary Animations Part Four. What rhymes with four? More door hor or, or I, I mean horrible horrible <laughs> family friendly but since we're gonna be looking at some scary stuff comment down below your greatest fear my greatest fear is being forever alone <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but I hope you guys are ready. Make sure you click that link in the description below. Get some of the dang merch, man. The family friendly hoodies. The get that out of here hoodies. All the cool kids are doing it. Woo, but make sure you guys get a blanket. Don't watch this at night. You can watch it at night. It's fine. It's fine. But get your blankets and let's go ahead and check out this true story scary animations part four. Let's do it. Let's go. The smiling man. Oh. Oh. About five years ago, I lived downtown in a major city in the U.S. I've always been a night person, so I would often find myself bored after my roommate, who was decidedly not a night person, went to sleep. Well. To pass the time, I used to go for long walks and spend the time thinking. <laughs> I spent four years Come like on, that, man. <coughs> like, uh, uh, I'm dying. Come on, man. Who goes on walks to think, man? What, like, what, boy? Must be white people, am I right? <laughs> uh, oh, you're white? Oh, okay. All right, it's fine, it's fine. I spent four years like that, walking alone at night. I never once had a reason to feel afraid. You gonna get robbed! I always used to joke with my roommates that even the drug dealers in the city were polite. But mm -mm. all of that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. No, I'm just kidding. It was a Wednesday, somewhere between 1 and 2 in the morning, and I was walking near a police patrolled park quite a ways from my apartment. Why? It was a quiet night, even for a weeknight with mm. very little traffic and almost no one on foot. You need some black friends. The park, <laughs> as it was most nights, was completely empty. I went down a short side street in order to loop back down my apartment oh, gosh. when I first noticed him. At the far end of the street, <gasps> on my side, oh, was oh! the silhouette of a man dancing. Oh! It was a strange dance, oh. similar to a waltz, but he finished each box with an odd forward stride. That's so creepy. I guess you could say he was dance walking, headed straight for me. Seriously. Deciding he was probably drunk, I stepped as close as I could to the road to give him the majority of the sidewalk to pass me. The closer he got, the more I realized how gracefully he was moving. What? He was very tall and lanky and wearing an old suit. He danced closer still until I could make out his face. Come on now, don't make fun of the man's suit. He could have gotten that from Men's Warehouse, which, you know, they got they got some good suits. I don't wear suits, so I wouldn't know, but yeah. Run, man! Eyes were open wide. <gasps> his head tilted back slightly, looking off at the sky. Oh my gosh. His mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. Oh! Between the eyes and the smile, I decided to cross the street before he danced any closer. Oh, you're so dumb. I took my eyes off of him to cross the empty street. As I reached the other side, I glanced back. No! And then stopped dead in my tracks. He had stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street, perfectly parallel to me. He's ah! Sorry, that sounds scary. He was facing me, but still looking skyward. Smile still wide on his lips. He wants you to dance with him. I was completely and utterly unnerved by this. I started walking again, but kept my eyes on the man. You should have started he running. He didn't move. Once I had put about half a block between us, I turned away from him for a moment to watch the sidewalk in front of me. Mm -mm. The street and sidewalk ahead of me were completely empty. Still unnerved, I looked back to where he had been standing to find him gone. <gasps> for the briefest of moments, I felt relieved. There's a reason that nobody is walking on the sidewalks, because the smiling man is out there, man! I swear, white people always investigating! Until I noticed him. He <gasps> had crossed the street and was now slightly crouched down. Oh! I couldn't tell for sure due to the distance and the shadows, but I was certain he was facing me. Oh my gosh. I had looked away from him for no more than 10 seconds, so it was clear that he had moved fast. I was so shocked and I stood there for some time, staring at him. And then he started moving toward me again. This is how people get kidnapped, boy. You better you better put on your Nikes and start running. He took giant, exaggerated, tiptoed steps 
as if you were a cartoon character sneaking up on someone. He's on crack! Except he was moving very, very quickly. <laughs> I'd like to say at this point that I ran away or pulled out my pepper spray or cell phone or anything at all, but I didn't. I just stood there, completely frozen, as the smiling man crept toward me. <laughs> and then he stopped again, about a car length away from me. Wow. Still smiling his smile, still looking to the sky. When I finally found my voice, I blurted out the first thing that came to mind. What I meant to ask was, what the f do you want, in an angry, commanding tone. Ugh. What came out was a whimper. W what the f- ha! Regardless of whether or not humans can <clears throat> smell fear, they can certainly hear it. Duh. I heard it in my own voice, and that only made me more afraid. But he didn't react to it at all. He oh just God. stood there, smiling. And then, after what felt like forever, he turned around, very slowly, oh! and started dance walking away. Huh. Just like that. Jeez. Not wanting to turn my back to him again, I just watched him go, until he was far enough away to almost be out of sight. Oh my gosh, the dancing man is on LSD. He's seeing stars with eyeballs on him. It's crazy! I realized something. What? He wasn't moving away anymore, <gasps> nor was he dancing. Oh no. I watched in horror as the distant shape of him got bigger and bigger. He was coming back my way. Oh my god. He was coming back my way. And this time he was running. <laughs> I ran too. I ran until I was off the side road and oh my god. onto a better lit road with sparse traffic. You dummy. Looking behind me then, he was nowhere to be found. The rest of my way home, I kept glancing over my shoulder, always expecting to see his stupid smile. <laughs> stupid smile. But he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that, and I never went out for another walk. There was something about his face that <gasps> always haunted me. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look high. What? He looked completely and utterly insane. Oh! And that's a very, very scary thing to see. <laughs> the smiling man! Oh, hey! No. Oh my gosh, man, that is a Joker Grinch smile right there. Seriously, I cannot believe this white man would just stand there while that thing's running at him. Like, why? I bet you I would have pulled out my slingshot and BAM! It would have been over. Then again, I wouldn't have gone on a walk at night in the first place, because I'm smart. Because I graduated from DeVry University. Yeah. Dishonor! Dishonor upon your whole family! Oh jeez, I hope you guys never do that. Like, don't go walking around a sketchy town at night. Otherwise, you might run into the smiling man. Okay, let's move on to another one. Scary true horse. Oh, ah! That's kinda... Ugh. Even the title scares I'm 27 me. years old. I live alone in a rural town in Virginia, about two blocks away from my parents. Haha, <laughs> virgin, yeah. <laughs> my parents are both in their 60s, and my mom has become a very worrisome woman in her old age. Aww. Sometimes she walks over uninvited and lets herself in, since I had regrettably given her a key, which mm. can get a bit annoying. Like if I would be out really late on weekends at a bar or with women, I would sometimes come home to my mom sitting in the living room waiting, worried sick. Dang. I know you may just think, oh my god, that's crazy, why not just put your foot down and tell her to stop? Yeah. Well, because you don't know my mom. Aww. It's very hard to describe her, but she's the kind of worrisome, innocent little lady that you just can't bring yourself to go against. Okay. And I hate to mention, she also has mild dementia. Aww. Anyway, this was Saturday night. I think it was around 2 in the morning. I was at a nearby club with a group of college Black friends. man! We got the black man! Yeah! That's a dark black man. I, I mean, it's, it's nothing wrong with it. That's, that's cool, but but jeez, I could barely see him at night. Really the only place to hang out in this boring town. Mm. And I was getting ready to head home. I said goodbye to all my friends and walked the three blocks it took to get back to my house. Wow. I walked up my front stoop in my drunken haze and dug my hand in my pocket for my keys. Oh no. When I grabbed the doorknob, I realized it was unlocked. My mom was here again. I quietly opened and shut the front door, locking it behind me. Mm. I put my keys on the kitchen counter and found a note written in my mom's handwriting saying, You forgot this at our house, next to the box of half-eaten cake my parents didn't want. Cake is not a lie. I didn't see my mom anywhere, so I assumed she must have gone upstairs to sleep in the guest bed until I got back, mm. which is something she would commonly do as well. Then I heard footsteps upstairs, confirming it. 
And that's when I sighed once again. Wait. 27 years old, almost 3 in the morning, and she still has to wait up and treat me like a child. Because you are a child. I ran upstairs to check the guest bed. Empty, along with all the bathrooms. Oh no. I was afraid mom was having one of her episodes due to her condition, so I ran to the phone to call my dad. Mm. After four rings, my dad picked up in a groggy voice, asking what the hell is the matter. <laughs> After I told him that I heard mom wandering around upstairs in my house, there was a short pause, and then he said, That's not possible, she's sleeping right next to me. My mouth fell open as I turned my head to face the dark upstairs. Oh and my god. Just gosh. barely by the light provided by the kitchen, I could see a head peering around from the corner at the top of the stairs. Oh! At me. Ah! I screamed into the phone as I ran out the front door and down the street to my parents' house, explaining what? to my father on the way. About halfway there, my dad told me, All right, I'm going to call the cops, and hung up. Oh, you dummy. I made it to my parents' house, where my mom was already waiting at the door, worried sick. Jeez. My mom explained that she did come over to clean my kitchen a little bit and to bring over the cake they didn't want. What? Two police cars pulled up in front of my parents' house, where they escorted me and my dad down the street to my house. Mm -mm. One officer stayed outside with us, while two others went inside to investigate. It felt like 15 minutes before they came back outside and said it was clear. Wow. They checked the crawl space, the attic, everything. There was really nothing for me to report other than the door was left unlocked and I saw the outline of a head upstairs before I ran for it. Time to move! Still, I didn't feel safe sleeping in there that night, so I went back to my parents' house. Yeah. Me and my dad are certain that my mom simply forgot to lock the door when she left, Jeez. as her memory has been getting worse over the past few months. My dad has been stopping her from coming over alone from now on, which makes me both sad but also relieved. Some nights, I still get paranoid that whoever was in my house that night never left. What? And is still hiding in here somewhere. <gasps> oh, man, see, that's why I don't live alone. Oh, okay, I live alone. But <clears throat> that's ridiculous, man. Jeez. Oh, gosh, man. Okay, did you guys pee your pants? Okay, yeah. let me know in the comments. Well, okay, you don't have to let me know because that's embarrassing if you, if you did. But. <clears throat> on a scale of one to really freaked out, how scared were you on that last video? Just let me know in the comments down below. See, this keeps happening when people keep going out at night. You know, as soon as the sun is down, hey, you go back inside and you stay your butt indoors until tomorrow morning. Man, catch me outside? Nope, catch me inside. How about that? Okay, let's move on to the last true story scary animation. Let's do it. The pizza guy. Oh no. It's Papa John's, isn't it? This happened four years ago when I was still in high school. Oh. I was told to do my last delivery of my shift. I got in my car, which was a 1999 Camry, perfect for delivering pizzas. Mm. I GPS the address of my phone. I live upstate oh. in the country, nice so all day. pizza deliveries were long drives. I remember the sun was starting to set, mm. so it was probably around 7 o'clock. I'd say after a good 15 minutes of driving through the foresty dirt roads, my GPS said I had arrived. It was an old little cottage-like house made almost entirely of wood. Nope, don't do it. It was sitting all by itself in the middle of absolutely nothing but forest. Mm -mm. The lawn was completely unkept, as the grass was almost at knee height. God dang. I was used to this kind of thing, so I didn't think much of it. I took the pizza to the front door. Heck no, that looks like a sketchy daycare. I ain't doing it, not today. There was no doorbell, so I knocked loudly on the door. With one finger? Within 10 seconds, I heard the sound of footsteps hitting wood on the inside of the house. Oh, God. The footsteps made it to the door and stopped. I started to feel uneasy. I got the feeling that I was being watched. What? And that's when I noticed there was a peephole in the door. It's the pizza guy, I called out. Huh. I heard a low, harsh-sounding voice on the other side of the door, telling me to bring the pizza out back. No. I didn't like the idea of going back there. No. Something didn't seem right. Duh. Are you sure, sir? I called out. He didn't answer my question. The sound of footsteps didn't move away from the door, so I had the feeling he was still watching me. I almost found myself walking back to my car, but I decided I didn't want any trouble with my boss. Nope. The last time I brought a pizza back, he gave me attitude, so I reluctantly walked through the uncut grass and Ugh. around the small house to the back. Who cares if your boss gives you attitude? At least you'll still be alive. Oh, 
Okay, look, at the next white people meeting, can y'all like talk about investigating sketchy houses and stuff? Just just run. Anytime anything scary happens, run. From the small house to the back. Oh no. I remember there was a shed and a little patio back there. In the patio, <gasps> there was a table with four chairs surrounding it. Oh. In one of the chairs facing away from me, I saw the head of somebody sitting in the seat. Oh. I began walking over and said, excuse me, but the person didn't even move an inch. Oh my god. Excuse me, I said again louder. Then from behind me, I heard, Psst, <gasps> over here. I turned around to see a man poking his head out from the corner of the house, oh looking my god. at me with a crazed smile. Come over here, I want to show you something. No. I freaked out, turned around, and ran around the house in the opposite direction. <gasps> There's someone else, wait! Car, for some <gasps> reason, still holding the pizza. Who is that? I got in my car, started it, and got away from there. Jeez. On my way back to the pizzeria, I pulled over to the side of the road and called the police. Dummy. Eventually, I was informed that there was no sign of anybody having been in that house for a long time. I quit my delivery job a few days after that. Ha! <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what would have happened to me had I gone up to that man. But to this day, I still wish I had just turned my head to see who or what was sitting in that patio chair. Heck no. <laughs> oh, what is that? man people delivering pizzas at sketchy houses and then going around back to try to deliver the pizza boy you better get that out of here Woo, man it's a wrap it's a wrap on reacting to true story scary animations part four be sure to comment down below which one of those three stories you thought was the scariest I think the smiling man. Oh man, jeez. I'm never gonna smile again. <laughs> oh, oh crap, I smiled. But yeah, click those links in the description below and get some of the dang Matt Smith merch. All the cool kids are doing it. And follow me on Instagram at dang Matt Smith because all, all, okay, all the cool kids are doing everything. Yeah. Woo! And click on the screen, check out another video, and I'm um, see you guys next time. Peace.